Hi, welcome to the channel. Today we're looking at Fonzi. We are looking at the comedian. He is obviously making a joke about his banana because everyone likes making jokes about bananas. Um, it comes with, uh, because it's Lego, they usually come with extra pieces in case you lose one. So it gives you an extra little stand piece and it gives you an extra little mic. And then here's the mic that you get in the set, you know, it has nice little detail on the mic, it has a little bit. You know, so he can either put one in his hand or he can um, use this little one for his comedy. All right. And then he comes with a thick banana that we've seen in other sets. So you do get a banana if you want to have a fruit or something. And then the character itself, he's right here. We're going to start with just his outfit. He has, so he's a bear. So they try to give him like little fur mark. Not sure if it really worked very well in my mind. So for the fur, I'm going to go, you, you failed that one. Um, the bow tie, the pink bow tie, that's cool. I, I like that. And for his little feet, he has little claw marks. It probably been better if it was black, uh, not brown. Um, just because to give it a little definition, just get, when you have the uh, character all the same color, it never really works in my mind. We're gonna flip him around. So he does on his arm. He has the little wavy things that we're trying to give it as as fur. There's there's a little bit here, and then he has a little neck necklace here. Um, not a necklace. It's the the little piece to the. Uh, handkerchief that he's wearing his head itself um, that's a nice piece his mouth is open he has a pink t uh, he has a red mouth and then a a brown tongue so it's kind of like the same color as his as they did with his um, body as his tongue and then he has a pink nose and his head he's wearing a little brown cap And he has uh, the texture they did on his uh, upper face here. We'll just do this. His upper face here is, is kind of cool. Um, you can see that it kind of reminds you of a little bit of fur. And his ears, they did a good job with making it look like it has fur. Um, so we're going to put the figure back down. They didn't give him any type of tail. They didn't give him anything extra. They really focused for his character. They focused on the mic. And they focused, looks like, on the top hat for his head. Um, for, for my purposes, he is displayable. Um, he is playable if you want to play with him. Um, he does stand out a little bit. His head really makes him stand out. So if you do want to play with him, he does look like bear that sense. But you probably could put his headpiece on any other figure and it would still make you think of uh, Fonzie because you would just think that he's in a suit or he's wearing clothes. And so for, for his purposes, he doesn't really need... Um, his bottom half just just for me my purposes he is a tall character he's not one of the shorter ones so he does have the large feet he's not he's not half and he does you know he does get a couple play sets for accessories so you do get extra stuff with him you get the two extra mics so you could uh in theory have him um and he can have a, a little band someone else can be playing with him so he does have playability and, he, and I don't know if I would, maybe I would take the mic and I would leave it in his hand. If you're going to display him in a piece, I don't think I would have this piece here uh, next to him um, if you're displaying him. But that's that's my take on it. Um, what does everyone else's take? Does everyone else, I mean, to be honest, I think he looks better in that, in that picture. If they actually made the... Um, they made the ruffles uh, w with that black outline. I think that would have been like, whoa, because, you know, you, you want to make it a, a little different. You want to make it a little different color like they tried, but it's so light. If you really like if you look here, then you see where I was pointing where it's a little fur thing. It is a different color, but it's not dark enough. Like, I think it needs to be a little bit more darker to really define the character when you're using the shading and stuff like his eyebrows here. Those are a different brown. They match his hat. They probably shouldn't have went with the same color as his hat. It gives it definition. It gives it that, you know, you're trying to stand out. If you have it on display and you want that piece to stand out, and you're like, oh, he really does have that, that those pieces on his um his face. If so, for a collector standpoint, I wish they changed him a little bit. 
Um, so I, I give him about an eight just because I really like different pieces. I really like that he has a different headpiece. So that, that's going to give me, he's going to jump out. It's not a double head. You, you If you've seen any of my other episodes, you know I hate it when you use double heads. And this is not a double head. It's a one single piece. And I really like that it's that. So for that, I would I would say he's about an eight. Um, you could have really knocked it out of the park with him if they would have done a little bit more detail. Just give it a little bit more flair to himself so he stands out. Because if you're far away, all you see really is this piece and his head. And you're like, is that a bear? I don't know if it's a bear. And you're like, whoa, my God, that's a bear wearing a handkerchief. If you were if you're far away, that that's the selling point. Um, so. What are your guys' thoughts? Do you completely disagree with me? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Stay collected. Hi, thanks for watching that last video. If you liked it, why don't you hit the like button? If you don't want to miss out on further content, please subscribe or maybe check out the video over here.